Hey guys, my name's Laura and welcome back to my channel. I like making videos about health, wellness, lifestyle, and sobriety. So if any of those topics interest you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Now, over the last year and a half, I have tried seven Chloe Ting programs. Yeah. I've tried seven of them and all of them have been really enjoyable in their own way. But today I wanted to talk about which program you should try if you wanna see the best results. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going through all of the programs that I've tried and kind of introducing them, talking about them a little bit in detail, and then we'll talk about which one I found the best results with and in your own personal situation, how you can see better results if you choose to do any one of these Chloe Ting programs. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know which Chloe Ting program that you found the best. So first what I'm gonna do guys is just list off the programs that I've tried over the last year and a half. So if you see me kind of glancing down at my, my computer here, I'm just reading off. I just wanna make sure I get all the names right because it's been a long time that I've been doing them and a lot of them kind of have similar sort of titles. So the first one that I did was the 2020 two week shred. I then did the 2020 Get Peachy Challenge, the 2021 Flat Stomach Challenge, the 2021 Hourglass Challenge, the 2021 Weight Loss Challenge, then the 2022 Summer Shred Challenge, and then most recently the 2022 Get Abs Challenge. So I've done all of these over the past little bit, and so now I'm gonna go into kind of a brief introduction of each program. So if you don't want to listen to each individual program, I'll try to list down below the time stamps of each program that I'm talking about, just so that you can kind of skip back and forth if you don't wanna to listen to all of them. So let's first just kind of briefly talk about the 2020 two week shred, what it's about and kind of what you can expect from that. So this is a 14 day, 35 to 60 minute per day workout program. The purpose is weight loss, full body and working your abs and core. So there's no equipment that's needed for this program and some equipment that's optional. So you'll see that a lot with Chloe Ting's programs. She'll typically include resistance bands and dumbbells as optional types of equipment. So what I'm gonna do is in any of these programs that I found them to be less optional and more beneficial or more mandatory that you have them, I'll state that in the uh, portion of the video. So in the 2022 week shred, you get three rest days total. And overall, this was a really, really intense program. Now looking back, since it's been a while since I did it, I found this to be super, super intense, mostly from the length of the workouts that you're doing. So if you noticed before, 35 to 60 minutes of working out per day. So if you're not used to working out, that's gonna be extremely intense and extremely challenging. And even though I'm someone that has always been working out in my adult life, I found this one to be really hard. This was a great way for me to push myself, switch things up and really, really challenge myself. I think if you're a beginner, this one would be a very difficult one to start with, not to say that it's not doable, but I imagine that it would be very hard. I did see great results from this program, mostly from kind of what we just talked about right now, the sheer intensity of this program, but I absolutely loved it. All of the workouts were new to me at this time. And so this one was a great one for me to start with. So the next Chloe Ting program that I did was the 2020 Get Peachy Challenge. And this one was a 28 day, 30 to 40 minutes per day workout challenge. Now this one was designed mostly to gain muscle in the glute area. And then there was also some full body work included in this program. So no equipment was needed for this one, but definitely if you have resistance bands and dumbbells, I would highly recommend that you get those or have them on hand for this workout. I remember feeling, because I don't have resistance bands, if you can believe it, that I was kind of missing out on some of these workouts. And looking back, I really should have had resistance bands in doing this program. So I think if you have those or you know somebody that you can borrow them from, they would be really, really helpful when doing this program because I think that I would have seen better results if I had access to some of that equipment. And it's really, really great if you're looking to gain strength in your leg muscles and add size to your butt. Now, a lot of people do Chloe Ting challenges for the intense workouts and maybe for weight loss reasons or to kind of add some intensity into their workout routine. So 
If that's what you're looking for, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this particular challenge if you're looking to see those types of results. This one is mostly designed for improving your glutes, maybe adding size to your butt or strength to your legs or just strength to your glutes in general. So if you're looking for something related to that, then I would recommend this challenge. I didn't really see substantial results from completing this challenge, but I did really enjoy it. So if you're looking to lose weight or do full body workouts, probably skip this one. It's mostly about the butt. <laughs> the next program that I did was the 2021 Flat Stomach Challenge. I remember just really in general kind of hating the title of that one. I'm not really sure why it just kind of like triggered me in some way, but this one was a 28 day 20 to 43 minutes of working out per day challenge. And the purpose of this one is a weight loss, full body and abs and core style workout. No equipment's needed for this one, so that's great. And I remember looking back and really, really enjoying this program just from the sheer amount of new workouts that were added to this program. And you know, if you've done a lot of Chloe Ting programs in the past, like me, a lot of the workout videos kind of become a little bit repetitive and she mixes a bunch of them into the workouts. So if you have done a lot of them before, some of them get a little stale and old. And I remember specifically with this program, really enjoying it because she added a lot of new videos to the program. So it felt exciting. Everything was new to me and I really, really loved this program. It's great if you're looking to kind of get like a full body improvement and strengthen a lot of different areas in your body. There's work on the abs, full body, there's some hit, there's some arm workouts, some butt workouts. And where this is double the length of the two week shred, it's a 28 day program. I feel like this one is a more sustainable workout program to try if you're looking to maintain some of the habits that you learn and gain from some of these programs. So if you're just kind of like, I'm going to a wedding in two weeks and I just wanna like shed a couple of pounds, then maybe try those shorter, more intense workout programs. But if you're looking to kind of like add a new workout routine into your life to prep yourself for changing some of those habits that you have, maybe try something that's a little bit longer like this 28 day flat stomach challenge. I really loved it and I found that I had great results from doing this program. Now you'll notice some of these programs that I've tried, I might have photos of in terms of the before and afters. Some of them I don't, that's just kind of because they've been lost in translation from moving and just not really having access to all of my old pictures that I used to have. Um, I'm also notorious for breaking my phones. So if I have photos, I will insert them now. And if I don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the next Chloe Ting program that I tried in this series was the 2021 Hourglass Challenge. And I really loved this one. It was a 21 day, 30 to 40 minute per day of working out and it was mostly focused on the abs and glutes. So no equipment is needed for this one, but definitely would be better and you'd have better results if you had resistance bands on hand. So I'd highly recommend that you get your hands on those bands before you do the 2021 hourglass challenge. And in this one, it's good to note that there is a lot less hit workouts and it's a bit lower intensity. So for some people, that's exactly what they're looking for. They wanna see something that's a bit less intense and some people really don't like hit workouts. Now, it's gonna completely depend on the person. I'm someone who really benefits from cardio workouts and I tend to see the best results when there's strength and cardio mixed together. So I didn't really see great results from doing this program. Um, but that's not to say that you may not see results from doing this program. It really depends on the person. Um, but I just found it to be not quite as intense as what my body would need to actually see results. Um, but I would recommend this program if you're kind of just looking to strengthen up some of those areas that I mentioned, like the abs and the glutes, or to kind of kickstart yourself back into working out. So it's three weeks long, you know, that's a great way to try to change some of your habits 
or to kind of challenge yourself with a new style of working out. So it's great to kind of mix into your regular routine, um, but I didn't really find that I had substantial results from doing that program. So guys, then I took about a year off of doing Chloe Ting programs. And the most recent one that I did just a few months ago was the 2022 Summer Shred Challenge. So this one is a 21 day, 30 to 40 minutes per day of working out, weight loss and full body workout program. I loved this program, you guys. And I think that the biggest reason why I loved it was the fact that I had quite a bit of time off before jumping back into it. So with all of those other programs that I mentioned before, I was pretty much doing the program, maybe taking a few days off or a couple weeks off and then jumping right back into a new program. So my body was getting really used to doing Chloe Ting programs. And then with this 2022 Summer Shred, I had taken like a year off and so my body kind of forgot like Chloe Ting who, and I just really, really enjoyed this program. So if you're interested in checking out my comprehensive review and results from doing the 2022 Summer Shred Challenge, you can click it up here and watch that video. But overall, I really enjoyed this program and the workouts that were included in it. I found this a really great way to challenge myself, to boost up my cardio, to work up my abs, and just overall switch up my routine. Like I mentioned, it had been quite some time since I did a Chloe Ting program and I just really, really enjoyed it. My biggest complaint in this program though that I will like take to my grave was the music. I didn't love the music and if you watched my review video, you'll know that I felt this way because that was basically my biggest complaint. I just found all the songs to be super similar and although that doesn't really impact the results that you get from the program, it definitely impacted my enjoyment of the program overall. So take that with a grain of salt. You know, you might absolutely love the music, but that was just something I just feel like I have to say it <laughs> before you embark on doing the challenge yourself. So I would definitely recommend this program if you're looking to kind of spice up your workout routine. And maybe it's been some time since you've done something really intense. Maybe you work out your strength a lot and that you're kind of like in that zone of working out. And if you're looking to boost up that cardio, improve your endurance, all those sorts of things, then this would be a great program to try. The most recent and last Chloe Ting program that I've done is the 2022 Get Abs Challenge. That one is an 18 day, 20 to 40 minute per day workout program. And if you're interested in watching my video on that program specifically, you can do so by clicking the link up there. No equipment is needed for this workout and it's slightly shorter than the Summer Shred Challenge and very similar in the workouts that you do. So a lot of the workouts were the same from both programs and there's a very similar level of intensity. Basically kind of feels like she packed the Summer Shred program that was 21 days just into 18 days. So slightly shorter, similar level of intensity and I really found this to be especially beneficial because I had just come off of doing the Summer Shred program and went right into doing the Get Abs Challenge. So my body was just like really thriving off of working out my abs and working on my endurance. And I think that this was just really great to be accompanied by another program. So while I don't really think that I saw substantial results from just the Get Abs Challenge, if I were to take a photo from before I started the 2022 Summer Shred Challenge, which is this, and then showed a photo of after the 2022 Get Abs Challenge, which is this, you would see that there is definitely a major level of results that were had. And I was very happy with um, how my body felt and how my athleticism felt after doing both of those programs side by side. So now that we've gone over all of the programs that I've done and kind of an introduction into each one of the Chloe Ting programs that I've completed, there's been blood, sweat, and tears that have gone into doing each one of those programs. So I hope that you've enjoyed kind of that comprehensive analysis of each individual program and the little introduction that I gave. Let's now talk about which program gave me the best results and why. Now, this is a bit of a difficult one because I think that I've seen different types of results in different programs. 
and I've enjoyed all of the programs quite a bit. Um, I have a few that are my favorites in terms of like the music or the workout videos that were included. Um, but in terms of the best results, what I'm going to be viewing that is, is like overall body composition change. So I gotta say that the best results that I saw with doing the Chloe Ting programs that I've mentioned before is the 2020 two week shred program. And you might be wondering why that is the one that I chose, given that there's so many other ones that I've completed. And it's mostly because the two week shred program from 2020 has the longest and most intense workouts. So at the time that I had completed this workout program, my body was like not used to doing that style of working out. I was used to doing maybe 20 minutes of just one workout video per day, and then doing this Chloe Ting program, the 2022 week shred, I was doing like three, sometimes four workout videos per day for sometimes up to one hour. So it was really switching up my routine. It was shocking my system and it was just a major change from what I was used to before. And that I think is the biggest reason why I saw the results that I did and why people tend to see great results from doing the 2020 two week shred program. So I wanted to talk about how you can see better results because some people find, you know, you can go on YouTube and see all these results that people had from a workout program and then do it yourself and not see the same results. So I wanted to talk about some of the uh, ways that you can see better results and some small habits that you can do or maybe change to improve the results that you see in doing some of these programs to make sure that you're not wasting your time and to really make sure you're getting the, the most out of the experience. So. How can you see better results? My first tip and might seem like a common sense sort of response is to drink lots and lots of water. This is the size of my water bottle and I drink about two of these per day. That's on a pretty regular day. Sometimes I'll drink more if I'm especially thirsty, but it's super important to hydrate yourself. Especially in these workout programs, you are sweating so much, especially if you're not used to working out or you're not used to doing that level of intensity. You're sweating a lot. You're using a lot of the water in your body. So you need to replenish that. And then also drinking more water is gonna help to rid your body of the toxins that are in there. And it's really just gonna make you feel a lot better. I find when I don't drink enough water, I also tend to feel pretty lethargic and pretty tired. And then when I go to do a workout, I'm sluggish. I'm not able to move as fast. I feel more tired from doing the workout and I'm just not seeing the same level of results that I would normally see. So drink lots of water and I can assure you, you will see an improvement in your ability to do the workouts and then you will see a better result from completing one of these programs. You can also see better results from focusing on eating nutritious food. Now, notice that I'm not saying eating less or stopping eating junk food or eating clean or any of these things that people say. I just want you to focus on eating nutritious food. Try to maybe put a little bit more thought into what you're putting into your body. That might mean trying not to eat out every day or once a week or doing all these things. Try to prepare your own food and just try to be a little bit more conscious of what you're putting into your body. And I'm someone that really believes in balance. I think I have hot chocolate or some form of chocolate every single day. Uh, for like literally years, I really rarely go a day without eating chocolate. So I don't think that you need to deprive yourself or get rid of the things that you enjoy, but I just want you to be a little bit more conscious of what you're putting into your body because if you are working out super intensely for two, three, four weeks, but you're still eating junk food and you're still going out to eat all the time, then you're not gonna see good results and you're not gonna see the level of results that you would see if you were focusing on eating just better for you food. So just try to keep that into consideration when you're doing one of these programs is that doing beneficial workouts and doing intense workouts accompanied by eating nutritious food is how you're gonna see better results. The next tip that I have, which is something that I've definitely seen in my own personal life is limit or remove alcohol intake from your 
diet. And I quit drinking alcohol about two, almost two and a half months ago. And since I quit drinking alcohol, I think I've lost like six pounds. And that's not from changing anything else in my diet or in my life. That's just from getting rid of alcohol and stopping drinking alcohol. So if you are someone that drinks on a regular basis, or maybe you go with friends and drink a couple times a week, maybe just try for the duration of the program that you're doing, two, three, four, or more weeks, try to limit the amount of alcohol that you're consuming because there's a lot of sugar in alcohol, it's a diuretic, it dehydrates you, and it's also a poison. So it's really not beneficial for you in any way. And if you can limit or remove it from your diet, you will definitely see better results results from doing any one of these Chloe Ting programs that I've mentioned already. The last tip that I have in terms of seeing better results is to not just view this as a temporary change in your life and to look at this as a way of improving your habits moving forward and look at it as a sustainable way that you can improve your body, your strength, your endurance, your athleticism, all of that and continue with those habits after the program ends. So the worst thing that I think people can do is do something like the two week shred challenge and then just go back to not working out and not exercising and eating crappy food. And then that's that. And two weeks after completing the two week challenge, you're back to what you looked like and felt like before. So try to maintain some of those positive habits that you've gained from doing the program and you'll continue to see better results as time goes on. Because the thing is, is the longer you make working out and eating right a habit in your life and a norm in your life, the less you have to worry about it. And the stronger you become and the more athletic you become, the less you really have to focus on working out. When I was in my early 20s, I used to work out for like two, two and a half hours per day. I would go to the gym in the morning before work and then again at night and I was just working out like crazy. I don't know why I did that. I would not recommend doing that. But now that I'm a little bit older and I have, you know, paid a little bit more attention to the types of workouts that I do, the things that I put in my body in terms of food, I have to work out way less to maintain the body and the figure that I have. So just keep that in mind is that you're not just doing this for two weeks, three weeks, you're starting with a two week program and then maintaining those positive habits that you've learned throughout the duration that you've done the program. So guys, in conclusion, I have really loved all of these Chloe Ting programs that I've done. It's crazy to think about all of the different ones that I've done over the last year and a half. I remember when I first did the very first Chloe Ting program, I like literally thought I was gonna die, it was so hard. And now I look forward to new ones being released and trying new videos, trying new programs. So please let me know in the comments down below which one you thought you had the best results with, which Chloe Ting program was your favorite. Let me know down below so that we can all kind of share our opinions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.